God bless America. Oh. Four, five, six, seven. 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 Welcome everybody to Nichols City X-Wing. My name is Greg and this is the Draft League semifinals between Team Fox and the CFIS. First, representing Team Fox. It's Team Captain Catherine. And representing the Court Federacy of Independent Systems. <laughs> it's Charles Holcomb. This series is 2 nothing in favor of Fox. So the CF, I'm sorry, two to one. I'm sorry, two to one. Two to one in favor of Fox. So the CFIS needs this to stay alive and force a decisive game five. You know what we say here? Never bet against Catherine Chat, but hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Although bets right now are 11 to two in favor of Catherine. Ando, thank you so much for continuing their sub. Appreciate it. Splits are now 12 to 2 in favor of Catherine. This is a salvage mission. I'm gonna grab a drink while they're still doing that thing and where they don't know what's happening. I believe all ships are down. I've got a nutty buddy. I fucking love these things. Know what we need, says Buddha. 
That is a victory. Can Fox punch their ticket to the finals? Or will the Korgs force game five? Scooter says, Fox needs one win and Catherine's playing on stream. That's a lot to ask. Not wrong. We are underway. Yeah, you can speak. Nice. I'm back. All right, let's see. How many people are betting against Catherine? Three total. Three? Versus 13 betting on Catherine. Watch this. Wow. There you go. I did it. Why don't you believe in Catherine? Say it on stream. I think everybody. the question you should be asking is, why don't you believe in Charles? I, I haven't taken a side. So do you believe in Charles then? Sure. I want game five, so that's exciting for me. See, that's what I'm rooting for. I want a game five. Locks being taken here on match stick. You had a nutty buddy, Crispy? I have. Not recently, but I have before. Mm, that good. I bet. Matchstick now has four locks for a two dice primary gun. And the uh, and the turret. Rerolls on that turret. Very helpful. Ah, uh, Noah has realized his mistake. Is the current points leader bets all against Catherine? That Suntier fell jousting the arcs up there? Yeah, it classic. Is. Classic Suntier. Classic Suntier. What is this? Salvage mission? Touching. We're touching crates? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think Catherine's going to be touching too many crates. I think, I think Catherine will touch a single crate. And that is it. That is all the crate touching that will commence.
Since here, not with Juke Bread. Nope. Shield Ruthless. I'm not sure if you're really trying to ruthless on your marksmanship. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd prefer marksmanship on a ship that's generally trying to line up the bullseye. But, yeah, I mean, uh, well, also salvage. I get it. But why Why do you think Ruthless? Like, who are you trying to damage on your own team? Vizier's really the only candidate. Uh, there's also the Black Squadron Ace, if you just don't care about him. Why would you not care about the... He's there to collect points. Correct, but what if he gets the crate shot off him? Then he won hard and picks it back up. Sometimes life isn't so simple, Greg. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not a fan of Soon Tier. I thought he would have just one hearted out, seeing how the arc's set up on that side. Or at least try to do something to not commit, because now he doesn't he's somewhat fairly gotta commit to going straight, right? Like the hard turnout is not as viable because then you're turning into the entire list in the center. Yeah, but if you're the arcs, do you do you power in hoping he doesn't go past you, or do you slow roll keep the wide arc? I would say oddball is like a one or a two straight, and then jag punches in. Okay. Or Annie, I like you can send Annie in because Annie is also on that side. My whole thing about this for the Empire here is that Vader is so far away from being meaningful right now. Yeah, I would like I would have liked to see Vader closer towards the center, but still five straight burners here probably lets you get a shot on Slider. So there's that maybe. I mean, then it's Vader going after Slider instead of anyone else. But if you take a shit off the board quickly, that is fairly good. Here we go, turn two. Greg, in 2.5, what is the lowest score you have seen? Um, I think like six to four or like eight to six. It was like very low two point game. Yeah. Uh, so this week at our store, we mm. had two players play a game. Okay. And the score was so low that Andrew Cox had to come over and give both of them a stern talking to, and that if he was a TO, he would have given them both warning points. Guess what the score was? Uh, three to one. It it was four to one. It was four to one. And what <laughs> what scenario do you think it is? I mean, it has to be a chance. It's not chance. Oh, was it salvage? It's, no, it's, it's, not, it's not salvage either. It was a four to one scramble game. How? Scenario actions were not taken. Until the third round, and one one satellite was left completely unclaimed. They played five rounds. In the third round, one person scored one point, and then it was another. I it was two points then, and then another two points. So they scored five points over five rounds. Yeah, that they would were... suck. Yes, it, it it did, and we all were trying to figure out what the hell happened. And we looked over, and there were, out of the I think nine ships on the board, four of them were at one health. Just nothing died. Were these like new players? Um, they one one of them I'd say is relatively new. Like, like I think this is, like, second month playing at the store. Uh, but the other one is a fairly experienced player. He dropped out a little bit uh, for 2.5 when it first started, but he's been back for a bit. 
So, like, I mean, both of them should know how to take scenario actions. Right. All right, well, Matt, Matt so McGowan also, Matt McGowan also goes to that store, was a coward, didn't want to see me this week, too scared to see the captain of the enemy team, didn't want to get paired into me, completely dodged me. But it, it sounds like you've been dodging making your matchup. I, I, I've made my matchup. It's sometime this weekend. Sometime this weekend is not making a matchup. Dude, ask Ollie. That's what he does. What? Ollie also drinks fucking chicken broth. Like, I'm not asking Ollie anything. I think you should ask Ollie more. Listen, he, he's a good guy. Talk to him. Ollie's a great guy. Not asking him in his opinion when he drinks chicken broth for breakfast. In, in his defense, he didn't realize it was chicken broth until he started drinking it. It said chicken broth on it. He he can't read. He's English. He can't read American. Oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. Wait a minute. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now up to 65 entrants for season four. So that's, yeah, that's guaranteed 12 teams, right? Yeah, so 12 times 5 is 60. We can do the math there. Now we just need more so that we can get yeah. six players on each squad. 72 is the goal. 72 is the goal. We've got, we've got a lot of time. So. Yep. Some tier. Wait, hold on. Greg, we have, yeah. we're at 65 signups, right? Correct. And, and our goal is 72? So Correct. just do the math for me. How sure. many more do we need to reach our goal? I literally just said seven. Seven? 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 Okay, I see what you did there. It took me a second. I was very there confused. I I, I, I I was trying to lead you there, but okay. it's all right. 69 more? Yeah, I mean, we'll take it. Listen, if we could create... If we got to, uh, oh gosh, if we got to 90 players, right, and no one dropped, we could then create 15 teams, so we expand to three teams, and then what you do is you do uh, divisions of five, so you have three divisions of five, right? Mm -hmm. And then you, you round robin in there, home and away, so you have, you're playing four teams, so then that's eight weeks. That's a, that's a you know, good length for the league. Yeah. And then what you do is for the playoffs, however you want to do it, it's not like it's not like a bracket of like each are trying to win in. Like they're trying to win their division. But like you can do like a top eight or whatever, right? Um Sure, like a like a playoff. Yeah, like like a, like a full playoff, like an Eastern ranking. Conference playoff thing, yes. the way basketball does it. Yeah, and it's the it is, and it's the top two from each division, and then two wild cards. Right. That that'd be really really cool. Don't hate it. Meanwhile, soon tier, one on God's green. Hey, take it. Take it, soon tier. Soon tier, dodging. I mean, it's more, it's more along the lines of Annie missing, but like, uh, hey, that's what you got to do. Tier took the evade, got the free focus. He's going to take two more shots here from Marks. I mean, you have marksmanship. Just simply shoot the crate carrying oddball. I assume that's what's going to be. Here's Vader measuring. Nothing. Yeah, I don't like Vader not being able to shoot. It's behind but... the green dice. Yeah, save a point. Save a point. Shoot an oddball. And then, yeah, if you're able to knock the crate off oddball, Charles is going to go up 3 to 0 on crates.
There you go. There you go. It's guaranteed. Use your marksmanship. I guess you don't really have to, but do it anyway. Get in the habit. Hit those shields. I do think Hit predator, them hard. predator marksmanship probably better than ruthless. Well, soon tier doesn't have a lot of points anymore. The shield upgrade eats up most of them. Oddball will drop crate. No, Oddball has selfless, which means that he takes crits. He doesn't pass them aside. And that no, crate soon tier... being placed in no one come here land. Yeah. Uh, soon tier does not have a crate on him. It's just the jag lock uh, looks like the energy that is on him. Soon tier is locked by jag. Now soon tier will defend from Oddball. Is this going to be a regular soon tier where he just dies? Oh, well, you have focus, you have evade, you have a shield upgrade. I I, I highly doubt that soon tier will die this turn. Especially if Jacqueline. Catherine rolls only blanks. Catherine, you know I love you, but you got to roll pink. 0 for 6. 0 for. 0 for 6. Let's see if Broadside has a front arc shot, and then Jag has a double modified banger coming up too. Do Jag first, just in case Broadside has the shot, then Jag can get the lock back again. Yes, double modded. Banger. Banger Ruski. There it is! Side. Natties! Oh, Ooh. that's the shield upgrade. Soon tier gonna soon tier. Ooh. Targeting synchronizer. For lock. Lock for And then Jag side. will get the lock right back. Funny Republic shenanigans. Hit crit. And Sintier gets the evades. And at the end of the round, it is three to zero for Charles in the CFIS. Round three coming up. Early lead for the CFIS, but we know how quickly things can change. And Suntier isn't exactly out of the woods. Honestly, if you're Charles, you just start one harding in corners to collect points. I, mean, I, think, I think that's, that's what all the... The, the TIE Fighter's doing. One hard evade, one hard evade, one hard evade. I... I think for this turn, you can get away with just doing the 3k, and then you just can start screaming back towards your corner. Yeah. Don't don't bother getting closer to the arcs. Just three K and then like three straight or five straight the next turn. Um Vizier's fine. Um Lurier's sort of in a weird spot because you've got that broadside uh, sorry, not that broadside, the uh the matchstick ion cannon sort mm -hmm. of plugging into that gap. Um I expect to see uh, matchstick pick up the crate here um start moving towards the center get those seismic charges ready and active um also keeping larir and vader honest meanwhile slider is just gonna hang about i don't know soon oh man soon tears in just such a weird spot the arcs can just one bang or like the arcs can just like two or three straight each and then just cover uh, out the rear I mean, I mean they have back arcs like 
Yeah. Dunthier's best play might actually be to bump one of them. But then those Y wings come in. I don't know, man. I don't know where Dunthier goes. He is in a pickle. Breaking news, Crispy. Yep. 66 signups. 66. That's that's a very important number. Order 66, like the team. Like the team. Like the team. Wow. Excellent. That is incredible news. Some tier three bank right. I was actually thinking about that. And the only way it's really bad is if both arcs kind of bank in. Yeah. There's the cheeky one hard towards the top of the board. <laughs> and then you can barrel roll and try to see where uh, which arcs you can dodge. Because I think if you do that, the only shot that you might take is a broadside primary, depending on where Annie goes, of course. Um, gotta gotta try to win that road roll. Catherine doing a great job of winning the road rolls, not helping her. Annie having a difficult time tracking down soon here. But they've got each other in each other's bullseyes, so I think they're both somewhat happy with that. Uh, I think Viz won four words on the ailerons. Coordinates Vader. I'm not sure you need to coordinate Vader. I'd probably coordinate Lurier. Get that double modded defense. Is Lurier yeah. a uh, lock action? Hmm? Yeah, it took starting Peter. Yeah. So let Lurier focus lock. You got Palp Force protecting too. And uh, fairly good, fairly good shot. Oh, there you go. Coordinate the focus to the rear. Jag turning to the rear broadside. Big turret. Big turret arc. Uh, Dread, I believe you dropped the crate at the end of your ship's activation, correct? It's 
slider will now side slip. And a boost. What were the bets? I believe they finished at 13 to 7. Well, if he five straights, he is straight up colliding with Anakin and just sitting in those Y wings. Instantly dying. Yeah. Instant death. Evade boost. I think you gotta. You gotta boost. You gotta boost. There you go. Callahan, thank you for the sub. 30 months or 31 months. Damn. God damn. And Vader will reach out for the lock and will find it on Jag. Ooh. Anakin 4Ks. I mean, he's still taking five shots, six shots. So soon that might that might be six shots. But Vader gets to lead us off here in round three. And just make that a crit. And Spend that lock, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got three shields, so really. Yeah, but. Doesn't matter. But it's good for practice. Yeah, understand. Yep. Woo! Ooh. Okay. One of eight. You spend your dedicated now. Answer I mean, appears to be yes. Yeah. Killer takes the strain for a reroll, and it works out. One shield on Jag. <clears throat> All right, Anakin. It's a primary 2v3 shot here. Here, just throwing dice everywhere all willy-nilly. Looks like we're going to get an ancillary ion weapon this clip here. Wow. Oh. So a crit, instead of doing a crit to student here, would do an ion instead. I mean, it could happen. Interesting. And it can spend some malice to make it two crits. And you really only need the one, right? Oh. oh. So you well, as an ionized soon tier. As Correct. an ionized soon tier who's not dying this turn, but is, or might still die this turn, but is 
definitely dying next turn. Uh, soon tier. So you are not long for this world. That is two ion tokens on soon tier. But also, that could have just been like two crits. All right, one crit this time from Oddball. Some tears like, for fuck's sake, please let me roll and evade. And does. <laughs> Jag does not have Oddball. <clears throat> so, no lock for Jag. But Matchstick is a four, so you just get it from Matchstick, right? Mm -hmm. Matchstick gonna check the arc for some unknown reason and then gonna take the range three shot into Suntir. Classic 2v4. Spends for two. That is one evade, one eye. That cocked dice is a blank. So we're going to get a palp spend for two evades here. Now Jag will get the lock. Killer in Disintier. More, more firepower. One crit. And here's like, for fuck's sake, please. Yes, gets the evades. Oops. Nash. I'm not sorry, Lurier. Just has matchstick range three obstructed, so this will be three v three. Classic. Not a great roll. One hit. Matchstick will take it. Plink. That's a shield. Oh, gonna take oh. the strain. Oh. Born for this. Hey! And Jag is going to get the shots here. Jack is going to get a double tap, so you got range three, unobstructed to Vader, range three obstructed and a focus of Vader to And you're going to choose Vader. Not great. Vader almost botches that, but does manage the evade. And two dice out the back, one crit. I'm gonna go ahead and spend that lock. Hit crit. Into your evades.
And now Broadside does have that Ion Arc. So we'll be able to turn a blank into an I. Ooh. Broadside Banger. ability. That's three hits. Sintir looking for two evades. Finds none. And, and I mean, there's no one left to shoot, but this doesn't make a difference. So the fell down to two and fully, completely, beyond recognition ionized. But at the end of the round, that is three more huge points to Charles. Now, Crispy, is the Republic going to regret, like, cornering soon tier? I mean, for giving up a lot of crate points, probably. I mean, you don't really have a good ship that can go after the Black Squadron Ace. Um, the Arcs are going to chase after Lareer and Vader. All right. Here's a thing. All right, here's a question. Mm -hmm. Would you, using Vizier, coordinate a lock and then have Vader, like, two straight and pick up the crate to go up 4-0? Mm, no, just because afterburns are such a huge part of Vader's game. But, like, like you're currently up 6-0 if you're Charles. You're going to lose soon tier. So what you can try to do is just push the objective game as fast as you can and just get the get the game to end as quickly as possible. You're like Vader's still going to have shots for quite some time. He's yeah. still got to flush through the arcs and then he's going to have the wise and slider in front of him. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, the four points seems really nice because that makes it a by turn seven, the game ends in your favor. Yep. And also that, like, that's if you kill nothing too. Like that's like you kill yeah. nothing. Um although broadside might like three straight here and pick up a crate, which I think is a good thing. Um so maybe it's four to one. Um so that way cat's at least getting something. Because she'll get soon tier. Um, but she wants to get more. Uh I am a bit worried about Lareer here though. Uh, I think the arcs just kind of bank in the Lurier and just try to do as much damage as possible, potentially knock off the crate. Um, however, Lurier with Elusive, a Focus, and uh, and Palp, probably going to be fairly okay unless the arcs roll basically full strings. And even then, Lurier, just on three dice, um, can roll out and mod out of a lot of it. But Vizier just coordinating, doing the red coordinate, take the stress every turn, slow down, stay away from the arcs as long as you can, push the objectives. Like, that's what Charles needs to be doing. I think Charles has worked himself into a play where his victory is going to come down to objectives. Um, but, man, it sure would be nice to kill Jag. Or, yeah, kill Jag, get that four points. If somehow, I don't think you have the firepower to do it this turn, but if somehow you killed Jag this turn and you had picked up a crate, you're up 14 to 5. I mean, Jag's, I mean, dies, to be so. fair, the, the entire Republic list has taken 3 damage. Yeah. And that's a lot of health. A lot of health to chew through. Yeah, 
Catherine will move first again. That's good for everybody, I guess. Actually, Laurier probably hates that. That's interesting. I think that seismic only has one. I don't think that went far back far enough to catch that middle asteroid. Yeah, Catherine's going to choose to delay it. Vizier, one bank. We'll choose not to coordinate and we'll take an evade. And Broadside will pick up great. Killer self bumps here. Never punished okay. though. Over Never under if Suntier lives. I'm choosing under. Uh Suntier dies. It's it's just it's it's that simple. Him will lock soon here. Tier has chosen to go straight. Mm -hmm. Get rid of all those Nash tokens and focus and hang on for dear life. Absolutely is in the broadside broad arc. Vader has to choose between a target lock and a possible fourth crate. Although I don't know if he's in range of that crate. He only did the one straight. So target lock has been chosen. 
And it should go to Oddball here. Oddball's already damaged. Yeah. Also, there is uh, Oddball has selfless. So if you try to shoot at Jag and you start modding things to crits, yeah. uh, Oddball will simply split the damage. All right, Anakin. Let's see what you got. Range two into soon tier classic two D three. Soon tier really needs to like natty out of a couple of these. Anakin did take a lock. Has two force left, so we'll spend it only on one. Two hits. Um, yes, oh, soon tier. tier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now soon tier is taking two three die ion cannon shots. Uh, if soon tier rolls all paint on one of those, soon tier lives. Vader gonna get a nice little banger into Oddball. Changes to a crit, spends the lock. And a force to make that hit, hit, crit. Oddball rolls one. Pretty confident Oddball doesn't want to take a crit, so he's going to spend someone's. Yeah. Spends their own focus. Just leave it at shields on Oddball. Speaking of... Oddball does have Loria range three. It's going to be an unmodded three dice into a four dice uh, defense with an evade. One crit for Oddball. Loria's thinking, please, I have to be able to roll out of this. And does barely. Oh, there you go. Gonna get a jag lock. Is matchstick three hits. Here takes one and is again ionized. No, oh no, don't spend. Oh, Doesn't okay. want to take the ion. No, don't spend. You got to save it. You got to try to dodge the next one. I mean, this is a four dice ion with a pretty nasty conversion ratio here. Well, this is a naked shot. Broadside didn't focus. Broadside picked up the crate. Yeah. Yeah. Four dice. Oh my god. Only one. Soon tier. Palp is active? Palp! 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 Oh my gosh. Sutia cries, prayers answered. Oh my gosh. Jack and is to reach some guys. kind of justice. And, and, and Sutia is an ironized. <laughs> Dread is live updating the stats of Sutia living, and it's now gone to 100% live for this turn. 
Two hits into Lorir. Lorir really just needs one squiggle. Gets two. What a turn for the Empire. Oh my gosh. And that's another three for the Empire. One for Catherine now. One for Catherine. Three for the Empire. Charles opens up a nine to one lead. And Suntir has not given up yet. Suntir paid for itself at this point? Yeah, I mean, it's occupied half the damn list. Southpaw Penguin, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome to Nickel City X-Wing. The only X-Wing you'll ever need. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You need more <laughs> X-Wing than us. Soon to your five straight off the board at this point, just like mercy. No. Honestly, like, there's a good chance that Suntir can actually turn in and get the crate off broadside. Liza MB, you weren't following? You've been here so much in the past. How dare you? More X-Wing than Hex. Well, I mean, Hex is taking a break. Who knows if Hex will be back. He seems to be really enjoying his, like, strategy games or whatever. Makes him happy. Mm -hmm. Who can hate? How much time is left? Asked Biddy Bumbo. Great question. 23 and a half minutes left in this one. To be fair, you were running 2.0 for a bit. I mean, we switched over immediately. We tried to do a 2.0 night, but I couldn't get anyone to play. Try to do like Monday night legacy, but a lot of people wanted to watch, just no one wanted to play. And it turns out we need people. All right, Dread Champ says over under Suntier lives this round. Crispy, what percentage chance of Suntier living this round do you give it? Zero. <laughs> zero. Zero. Crispy. Suntier dies. There's. I'm thinking three hard. I, I, I think it's either the three hard or the one hard. Because you could like do a cheeky like one hard and then roll back. Like I think the roll, one hard, the one hard keeps you in everyone's arc the whole time. Yeah, but if you don't get blocked, you can then barrel roll boost and potentially get behind the wise. Yeah, it's true. Because, I mean, I don't think Broadside is going to drop a Proton Bomb on top of all the boys. They Possible. Do, they do have shields to spare. That That's correct. It's just Anakin, though, who you might not want to do that to. But I'd like to turn your attention to the unsung hero of the Empire. Black Squadron Ace. He ain't hurt nobody. His arc is facing the completely wrong direction. He doesn't, he doesn't care about these guys. He has one job in life, and that's a crate. And he's going to carry that crate until his God-given death. Black Squadron Ace. Even though the game's not over, you are the player of the game. It's not really a great looking... You know what? You get it. Player of the game, Black Squadron Ace. Boom. Like that, like that man is earning his keep. Yeah. He's not like Soon Tier taking up all the time and the shots and everything. He's like, you know what? How about no one shoots me? How about I sit here and I tow my crate 
in a perfect 90 degree square. Looks like we're ready to go. Turn five. Once again, it is Catherine's turn. You have to think that helps you, Tier. Let's see if we get any other bomb drops. Keep in mind that Seismic is now active, so I think the only choice is going to be that Cloud. It's going to blow up. So Tier does not have initiative. Here, get a turn in. And yeah, that's exactly what I thought Jag was going to do. Ha. Huh. Yeah, broadside rotates. You know, move is looking great right now. Pretty hard. Killer <clears throat> has given up. Being like, fuck you. Matchstick. Keeping that arc nice and wide. BSA, not bothering anybody, not getting involved. Lurier. Pretty much the same. Ooh, that doesn't bomb. Nope. Nice move from Oddball. The Godball. Interesting. See, this is why I like the one hard from Suntir here. All right. I mean, let's see what. Yeah, since he has in store here. It is the one hard. Evade barrel roll on... Evade, evade roll and you're taking one shot. Oh my goodness. If you barrel roll right... You roll right, you got the marksmanship. Bullseye. Yeah, you might be able to deny oh the point as well. That I is mean, now, okay, never, I'm, I'm, out taking, of I'm taking back the 0%. There's a very good shot that Suntir lives. Suntir will get that focus. And oh bonus point, he's got marksmanship lined up on broadside. Vader, on the other hand, will one straight. And he's just going to claim. Oh my gosh. Now, Vader will take a damage from this I mean, you're fine. cloud and the seismic, but I think you're willing to sacrifice that for four points. Also, are you going to get the totality of four points? I mean, you have Oddball and lined up to start stripping. Yeah, odds are Vizier does not keep the crate. Um, there so is like the shield still on Vader. That kind of helps Vader next turn, though. Really opens up the yeah. mirror. No burners. Feels a little sad. All right. Anakin, first shot. Well, yeah. Soon to your focus. Yo, nothing. 
Nothing for Anakin. Vader is going to take that two dicer. 2v2. Into the Z. Not bad. Not bad. Get a shield on slider. All right, plank one, not so bad. That is the eighth, no, that is the ninth total damage that has been dealt this game. With 15, 14 and a half minutes left. So here you gotta go in the broadside, right? Oh yeah, knock, knock the crate off. Knock that crate off. Four dice with marksmanship. Ooh. Oh, I mean, oh, do you spend focus or do you spend palp? I don't think I want to spend any of it. I, I think I would let it roll. I mean, oh, man. It's, he spends palp. That's a palp spend. Yeah. Does I, get I like, spe I like spending it because that, that guarantees that the crate comes off. And once again, <laughs> you're probably going to drop that crate back near soon tier. <laughs> yeah, just. Until yeah. he can get that crate completely off the board. <laughs> Just walk it off. <laughs> Y-wing ability doesn't matter. Because of marksmanship. Well, there's two crits, and, only one die, yeah. so it doesn't. Oh my gosh. This is, this is something. Hello, the arcs are angry. But she turned the other one down and dodge the crits. She wouldn't dodge the crit, though. The hit would one be the one dodged, and then the crit would go through. Focus. Three into Vizier. Ooh, Vizier missing that palp force. Vizier down to five. But hanging on to that crate right now, which is the most important part. Oh, Jack's going to get the lock. That's good. That is good for Jag. Double. Modded. Banger. We have to sit through all the fours. All right, here's the shot. Suntira is focus evaded against a three dice ion shot that's also double modded. One reroll. Converts. Three hits. Suntira fell. One blank, two blank, that's a suit to your kill! On the least likely turn that Suntir dies, Suntir, of course. Like I dies. said, zero zero percent. I knew yeah, it the whole never, time. Never never walked that back. Not once. Not ever. Killer now has a shot into Vader. Classic 2v3. Spends for one. Vader evades. I mean, if you're Jag here, you have to get this crate off. Like, there is no room for error. Yeah, you have to. Like, you, you gotta reroll for Chris. There it is. There's a crit. That crate is coming off. Hit, hit, crit. It all goes in and a crate comes down. It's a loose, loose stabilizer. Oof. So Vizier's at two with a loose stabilizer. I mean, he can't go straight. So, oh, well, no, he's fucking, 
stress, so we can't aileron out of this. Correct. <clears throat> Honestly, do you just like knowing that Vizier is probably gonna die? Do you just I mean Vizier, yes, Vizier still needs to shoot. The question um, is, do you take this into oddball instead of into jag, knowing that you've got I, the shields Yeah, I'd off say go into oddball. oddball. You, you have shields off oddball. You can't split fire here. Yeah, looks like it's going to be into oddball. Only one. I don't think there's anything for Oddball to do about that. So Oddball will take one. Down to five. And then that's three for Charlie. Charles, Charlie, Holcomb. Big man, big empire. 12 to six with nine minutes left. So here's the thing, Greg. Okay. Knowing that Vizier is probably going to die. Uh -huh. Do you just do the one straight or the one bank, take the damage, if you do the one bank, you're still alive, and then pick up the crate to prevent the, any of the arcs from doing it, since you move first? So you're talking about a one bank right crate pickup? And, yes. I think that's a fantastic plan. You, Knowing you that just he's going to die? Yes. Yeah. Like, I don't think that there's anything that Vizier can do to get out of slider jag and oddball that are coming so all you gotta do is just pick up the crate and make sure that no one else on the republic gets that crate yeah you're giving up four sure but you can guarantee that catherine doesn't pick up any extra points off of crates which then forces her to kill something else in your list here's my question to you does match stick too hard right God, I don't think that puts in range. Oh. I think you would need another turn to get that crate. That's really close. I I think you're just out. But I think that's worth the shot, right? I don't think Matchstick is fast enough to get back in there. So you got to go for it. At least plan. I mean, this probably is the last turn, though. I mean, Charles Styles looks set. It's Catherine right now who is setting her dials. What's Lurier doing? I'd be very nervous about turning Lurier to the left. Because that too hard right could come from Jag. In fact, I'd say it's likely to come from Jag. Turn six, Catherine once again has initiative, which is beneficial for Vader. <clears throat> Straight for Vizier. And Charles seems to be on the same wavelength as you here, Crispy. Accepting death. There it is. Picking up the crate, denying it to Catherine. <clears throat> Buddha says, I'm so scared right now. 
The 4K? Oh, okay. There you go. It's most likely a dead vizier. Broadside, not really in this fight. Perhaps the rest of the game. What? The BSA is like, you're going to kill Vizier? Not on my watch. Even though no one can shoot me, I'm taking the evade. Lurier. Turns in. Ooh. Spicy. And again, if Lurier takes the evade here, you know that fucking... Okay, he's taking a focus. This is abundance of caution. Oh, is it in? Yes! Oh, it is. Matchstick picks up crate. Killer went forward. Oof, if Vader won bank to killer, might be in for a bad day. The one bank. Oh, it does. Not bump. No, it does bump. Oh, it did? Yes, correct. Well, that's perfect. Uh, however, oh, oddball ability. Oddball ability. Give Jack the lock. All right, Remember, Jack has remember. to be... Oh, no, it's range 0 to 3. It's just 0 to 1. Yeah. Of the, enemy, of the enemy ship. Yeah, so you choose an enemy ship at range 0 to 1 and a friendly ship at range 0 to 3. And your yeah. friendly ship locks that ship. So whenever you bump focus someone, yeah, so Jack could a friendly ship. Yeah, so Jack lock. should have a lock here. Uh, because it is a choir. It, it's it, actually funny enough. It says it gains a lock, which is different than any other terminology that we've had so far. But I'm assuming it's the same thing as a choir. Yeah, I do believe it is. Invader. I guess. It's bye bye. Leaving. <laughs> he wants no part. All right, well, Charles is game this out. Anakin has only one choice, a range three obstructed shot into Vizier. Nothing. Vizier's like, ha, I knew it. Oddball. oddball think the other ships can finish vizier off and you take that Hail Mary? The answer is no. We have crossed under two minutes left. One hit from oddball into vizier. Vizier takes it. Vizier's on one. <clears throat> no matter what happens next turn, vizier is dead. Killer gets the extra die. Vizier's obstructed range three. This is two on three. Oh, it's slider, not killer. What the fuck am I talking about? Come on, Greg. Vizier vids. Jagatha Crispy. Range yeah. one. That's two results. That's a dead vizier. Bang, boom. Thank you, Liza. Appreciate you understanding. Twelve to ten. Forty-five seconds left.
20 seconds left. Two shots. Spends for two. No idea who this is on. I mean, I'm assuming oddball. There is the buzzer for time. One is through on the oddball. The shot is mostly pointless. Nothing. Oh, it palps for one. Fun. Palps, palps revenge. It's evaded. Two to one. Three to one, rather. Is the game. 15 to 11 is your final against the odds. Charles pulls off the upset. Ties this series at two to two. We are headed to a pivotal fifth game between Dr. Weston for Fox, Andrew Block for the Korg Federacy. Game five. Andrew, you're in chat. When is that coming up? Eight thirty PM Eastern tomorrow night. Game five Western versus Block. Hopefully someone can stream it. I will be in Canada. All right. We'll be right back with game three coming up in just a minute. 